Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Tomba. Last time we left off, we had just fixed the, uh, the pipes for Buckus Village for their wine. Now we're just heading back. Still can't do too much here with him riding on our back. Do -do. Head on down. And again. Ignoring you. Those things can be... Whoops. My depth perception failed me. Taking care of you. Ignoring you. And we're heading back. <coughs> Loading. Well, thanks again. Don't forget to report this to Town Hall. Yeah, I know I'm cutting out words, but it's just the way I talk. <laughs> Okay. Head back up. And talk to the town mayor. Look, wine! There's wine again! You've been a tremendous help. I'm not sure how we can thank you. Oh, I know. There's always plenty of wine here. Feel free to take as much as you want anytime. Oh. But not for you, okay? <laughs> so he does take in consideration that Tomba is a kid. <laughs> I don't know what it is about this game I just love so much. It's probably just that drama um, unique charm. That's what I'm looking for. Let's talk to the fortune teller. I am a fortune teller who can see people's future experiences. Normally, fortune tellers would only speak to those with high AP levels, but since I am still in training, I will look at your fortune. The Red Fortune Teller. Um, I think she's the one who's missing the crystal balls. House of the Red Fortune Teller, special offer free readings. Yeah, I think I need to find one more crystal ball before she'll actually talk to me. But let's take care of the Haunted Mansion here first. Because this is our new area that we'll probably be spending a lot of time in. Because we actually have a new ally that's hiding in here. What's in this room? Come on, let me see. Thank you. Can't do anything in here yet. Aha! Level 4 for that one. You. And I'm gonna head up this way. And we want to take care of these eggs. Ha ha. Up again. Doot doot. Back down and around. There's a lot of these eggs around here. The one I've missed over there. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to do this. There we go. On that side. Okay, that's one. That's two. Head back over. Oops, not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. Head up this way. Can't do anything with that. Okay, there we go. There's that one. Up for this one. And we'll head up and over. Not in, over. And I missed. Hop down. Uh, hop down. And slide. So there's one more egg just down at the bottom here. Okay. Getting a little bit of lag, but that was common for that little spot when the lightning went off. Okay. Before I head in there, I want to know what's in here. Nothing I can do here either. Oh well. So let's just head back up.
and I want to hang off. There we go. Easy way to get that item. <sighs> there actually is an item in this game that'll make platforming a lot easier for us, but it won't be until a little later. I can't do anything in here yet either. I'll just get the last of those eggs, I guess. <laughs> Take care of you. Okay, good. I can change the angle here. And there should be one last egg somewhere. I just can't remember which door it's in. What's in here? Food! <laughs> Take care of you. Um, I want this to flip around. I wonder if I can do it by doing this. No. Slide down here. Is there anything I'm missing here? No. But what's in here? I don't remember this place very well. It's definitely one of the trickier areas to remember. Yeah. can get a key, key panel. You definitely want to collect all these key panels, too. Yeah. <sighs> and there's save points around every corner in this game. Or haunted mansion, I should say. Yeah. What's in this room? Do, do, do. This is where the key room comes into play. Or those key pieces, I should say. Int unintentional rhyme. I guess having a rapper for a brother tends to do that. And I can't do anything in here either. Let me think. I know most of this game by memory, but some stuff is easier to forget than others. Probably that room that I'm missing here. Right here. Ah, small key I need. Did it again. Okay. Uh, maybe... No, that was the frown frowny door. So... Let's see. So many rooms! This room? No. I've been in here. Jeez, I'm a dumb. Think, think. What room was it? Was it the one with a small keyhole? Probably. But we have a healing fountain. If you take a bath in here, you actually heal. Um. Gotcha. What about this room? Is it a locked room? Taking care of you because you're a jerk. What do you have to say? Good thing you were around. I worked at the town hall and went to the lake to fix the pump myself, but well, just look at me. I came all this way. I even brought the key to the small room. Pretty pathetic, I know. I'm going back to the village for a while. If there's something you need, don't hesitate to come see me. I'll be at the town hall. You be careful now. Wait a minute. You mean... You couldn't... just... Oh, yay. <laughs> 
So now we have that small key. We can open that door. Any other doors around here that I wasn't in? I believe I've been in you. So yeah, I'm just gonna go to that room. Up. Up. And around. Okay, mm -hmm. and head on up. Oh no, why is my battery dying now? And I don't have the charger handy either. Well, if my battery d does outright die on my controller, I'll just s cut that spot and plug it in. Aha, here it is. This is the last egg we need to break. There. Now we can go into that big room. Flip around again. And I can't drop down here from here. Here I can. Ooh, that was cutting it close. In we go. Oh, hello. Ah, you're back. The 100-year-old wise man had good things to say about you. Looks like he was right, too. So you want to hear more about the evil pigs, right? The evil pigs use very powerful magic that can warp an entire area under their control. However, they need an enormous amount of gold to produce this kind of magic. They must be gathering all this gold in one place somewhere. If you find this place, I'm sure you'll find your grandfather's bracelet. The 1,000-year-old wise man. Now, I didn't activate this quest. If you had come in here first, there would have been a barrier from the magic eggs. Here's a present for you. It's the 1,000-year-old one key. This key will open all the 1,000-year-old treasure chests. So now we can open those blue chests. You'll find what you need to get beyond Phoenix Mountain in a 1,000-year-old treasure chest. I think I left it at Phoenix Mountain. But remember, there's a special technique in getting through the lava caves. The flames from the lava inside the caves will also be a problem. I'm afraid there's nothing you can do until you find the evil pig that casts the spell to seal him away. The green evil pig bag will reveal the evil pig gate, so search the lava caves for the bag. I can see it in your eyes. You will become stronger. Just don't lose your courage. First, you should climb the s stand of the sun torch. It's somewhere near this building. It will show you a new power. After that, you must use your own strength to find your way. Red Hidden Powers. Believe it or not, we need a certain amount of experience to get it. Take care of yourself. You'll meet some friends of mine up ahead that can help you, but be careful of the 10,000-year-old man. He's not a bad man, but, well, you'll find out. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> the personality of this game is very quirky as well. It's just one of those games you can't help but enjoy. Okay, so doo -doo -doo. I'm actually gonna go back to that big key room, so I'm gonna go around in a circle here. And I'll do a lot of exploration off screen. You pretty much will end up doing all this exploring anyway, so it's not too big of a deal if you don't see it when I'm playing. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It was this room, wasn't it? No. Another room. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This room. Aha! This is the room. Now let's take those key pieces we found. Um, I've only got one, two, and four? I wonder where the others are. Hmm. I can't remember. So I'm missing three and five. I'll find them eventually. They're here somewhere. But before I leave off this episode, I didn't want to do that. I'm going to rotate right back. 
and I'm heading up this way. Up. And up. This is what I want to get into. Do I have the experience for it, though? What experience do I need? Not enough. What do I have? Level 4. I think you need it to at least be level 5 for it to work. Don't quote me on that, though. Just continue attacking the pigs every chance you get, and you're good to go. Well, I think that's a good stopping point, honestly. Um, okay, good. I can drop down from here. There's a save point just over here, if I'm remembering right. Oh, down. And over. Oh, that was close. So I'm going to stop here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Tomba. This is Autumn Child saying I'll see you all next time.